And uh, your statement of 80% of carbon emissions being associated with the Scope 3 is kind of pretty staggering. I hadn't heard that before. Um, I, I guess, you know, just looking at my machine right now, you know, there's a lot of sophisticated technology in it and a lot of advanced manufacturing, which I guess is fairly energy intensive, um, which I guess would account. Um, but I, I guess also if you look at Scope 3, you're also looking – are we also including the 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 services associated with network switches and network gear and and, and everything that's associated with using the, the the computer as well? Um, no, in that case, what we're talking about is is a specific yeah. life cycle analysis of the of, yeah. of a typical device. I mean, obviously, it varies. Um, yeah. So, what we do produce, if you are in the the public sector or not for profit sector we do have a free online tool you can access um, there's links to it from the blog on our website um, and that allows you to compare the scope two and scope three emissions for any device that you might be considering purchasing um, to see what its emissions are and specifically we tailor that to where you are in the world and how many years you typically keep a device for so you can literally go on and say, you know, I'm a healthcare provider in Australia. I keep my devices for four years and, um, you know, show me the, the laptops or notebooks that are available in the marketplace and allow me to do a side-by-side -side comparison of those to find out what their total carbon footprint is. And we, we factor the scope two emissions for where you are in the world and we level playing field all of that so that you can look at you know, a Dell versus a HP versus a Lenovo versus an Acer versus an Asus device of similar specifications, but understand yes. what that carbon footprint is. Um, and as I say, that, that ability, we call it the dynamic carbon footprint tool. Um, and as I say, it's, it's freely available to anybody in the, in the public sector or charity sector. And the website is px3.org.uk. Um, px3.org.uk, yeah. Yeah. Um, 